guys. So let me state the obvious. It's super hot here in Florida. That's why I look like this. So we found four baby squirrels. These are uh, North American gray squirrels. They're found here in Florida. And this is just one example of a rescue mission to which we are going to relocate these baby squirrels. I'm an arborist. I find problematic trees and unfortunately many times there are critters that find them to be suitable homes. We found all sorts of reptiles and plenty of mammals like flying squirrels, gray squirrels, possums, even baby raccoons. And most of those videos can be found right here on my channel under the mammals playlist. However, the mammals playlist won't include many of the reptile rescues we've performed or the crazy beehives we've encountered. I'm not the ordinary tree guy. I'm a certified arborist with a big passion for wildlife and conservation in general. Over the years we've been working to build as much content as we can in wildlife rescues and things we can do to preserve nature. Fortunately with squirrels, the mother should return to get them. Just place them at the base of the tree and uh, she'll come and get them. That's pretty common with mammals. Now it's hard for birds to do something but a mama squirrel actually just grabbed my back of her neck like this. And she can pick them right up. I don't want to show you too much. They don't like being uncovered though, so they've been evicted from their nest and now... We are going to place these squirrels as close as we can to the original nest so the mother will have no difficulty finding them. It's not uncommon for gray squirrels to build nests inside of bird boxes, cavities in trees, and creating their own nests out of leaves and moss. But this was actually an amphibian box that the homeowner was going to place next to his pond. We made a few modifications and placed some nesting material inside. We got the lift truck set up and we're going to remount them actually at the top of that pole and the mother will get them from there and if she decides that it's better in that tree or that tree or any of these other trees she'll bring them to the new nest. They usually have a backup nest. One of the modifications is to make a smaller opening to ensure the squirrels would be snugly placed inside of their nesting box. We also drilled a hole in the side so I can nail it securely to the platform we're going to place it on right here. This is the original home tree. It was just a hazardous tree that had to be removed. I nailed it center on the log, ensuring there was a little platform for the mother squirrel to have plenty of maneuverability. Then I placed Spanish moss over it, helping to insulate it from any sunlight that may hit it, giving the mother squirrel plenty of nesting material to work with, as well as making it look much more natural. But honestly, these squirrels were pretty well developed. They had plenty of fur and weren't far off from opening their eyes. As long as the mother comes back, I have no doubt they'll survive. If you would, give me a heart to support wildlife conservation. And I found the YouTube algorithm really likes comments. 